Welcome to Rosa Luxemburg Platz with its famous Babylon Kino here, a brilliant example of Bauhaus Stil architecture which you'll see all over Berlin. This particular theater was built from 1927 to 1928. It's by the architect Hans Pölzig and it opened in 1929 and survived World War II and the GDR years as an active theater in both and it's one of the only cinemas in Germany to have its own orchestra and the only one to have its own theater organ in its original condition and location. The uh, theater is a remarkable place culturally here in Berlin. It's a place where you can see the highest level of art film. As you can see, they're already advertising the next screening of Koyana Squatsi with the famous Philip Glass score. But it's also a great place for families and just a fun spot to be, especially their Null Ur, Null Euro series, which is free silent films every Saturday night at midnight. Let's take a step inside and uh, have a listen to the cinema organ. Here's the Babylon Kino at uh, Rosa Luxemburg Platz. And let's take a look at the main auditorium. Sounds like uh, Anna's at the organ. Let's go say hi. Here we are in the Babylon Kino in Berlin with its own resident organist, Anna Vavilkina. And Anna has the special distinction of playing and taking care of and looking after the Philips organ here at the Babylon Kino, which is a really special one. It's not only the last uh, cinema organ in its original location in Germany, but it's the only Philips cinema organ which still exists, in fact. And it's a very special organ. Anna, what can you show us about this organ? Ja, sie hat viele Register, also wie für Kinoorgel typisch sind, also vor allem sehr schöne Tibias und, und andere auch andere Flötenregister. Also. Und Vox Humana. vieles anderes und sie hat auch sehr viele Effekte, also selbst für eine Kinoorgel hat sie sehr viele verschiedene Effekte, also ich zeige jetzt ein bisschen so unsere besondere Stolz, also die Eisenbahn, also es gibt selten in den Kinoorgeln. Und es gibt viele andere nette Sachen, also Wind und Regen, also Regen ist sehr schön. Also. Und ähm, so weiter. Also alle Vögel sind schon da. Und ähm, ja, so Schlagzeug, also alles, was man äh, gebrauchen könnte, um Film zu begleiten oder so zur Unterhaltung zu spielen. Ja. It's a very special organ. Um, in America, we have <coughs> many cinema organs still uh, still extant in our theaters. And, of course, they were used for accompanying silent films. That's why all of the effects. But um, it's easy in the, in the context of the special effects and the, the birds and the drums and all the silly stuff to forget about what serious and interesting and beautiful musical instruments these organs really are. And I'm not, do I remember right that it has a 16, a 16 foot in the, in the pedal, the, the reed? Yeah, that's kind of a special sound. Nice. This organ's also a, a little bit ahead of its time, too, because it has uh, a combination action, that's what these uh, buttons up here are, are for, so that you can uh, preset combinations to use during the movie or during the concert uh, and don't have to change everything by hand. We take that for granted now in the organ, but it's, uh, it's quite a technological uh, innovation for this era. Mm -hmm. And what about the feet? What do we have down here? 
Ähm, also hier gibt es äh, Pedale, also wie bei, äh, auch bei Kirchenorgel, aber hier habe ich noch einige Effekte. Also das ist auch sehr schön, also die Sirene. Yeah, we'll see that with all of the organs that we visit, that they have something in common. Um, and one of the things they will have in common, of course, is a, is a swell pedal to change, or more than one swell pedal to change the volume, and a pedal board to play with the feet, and stops to control with the hands. But the character of the organ and what their job is, of course, will change from venue to venue. Anna, you play this organ here a, a, a lot in Berlin for silent films, and it's one of the important public organs in Berlin. When can we see and hear it? Also, normalerweise wird die Orgel jeden Samstag um Mitternacht gespielt. Es ist eine Stummfilmreihe, also Stummfilm um Mitternacht. Und äh, Eintritt ist äh, frei. Und da kann man sich die Orgel anhören, also bei den Stummfilmen. Sonst äh, spiele ich meistens auch hier zum Einlass von anderen Filmen. Und wir haben äh, jedes Jahr ein Stummfilmfestival. Äh, Dieses Jahr wird das, wird das wahrscheinlich im Herbst sein. Danke, Anna.